It's time for Eric Plays Civ 6 Multiplayer. Hey guys, how's it going? I continue to have more and more donation, uh, donations. It's covering up my face now. Um, so thanks, uh, Dan and Katie, for the donation. And then, of course, Dave had to uh, top them, so Dave added another two bucks. Um, and I'll be doing a thanks again on my um, solo game stream, because that's going to go up before this one does. Uh, at least to both uh, uh, Twitch, I'll probably live stream it, but also um, YouTube. So, yeah. Well, I did realize I have yet another issue with my script. Now it, it doesn't stay in the loop that it was before, but it's not reading in the new, the new uh, donations, unfortunately. All right, so uh, finally got to Dave's, um, Dave's new... Uh, third game that he created. Put these on. Um, <coughs> and uh, so it's telling me to settle here. Got whales near nearby. I've got ivory. I've got bananas. Looks like a good place to settle. I will settle. So I told it to do a uh, random sieve. So I'm the Americans. I think I think this is the first time I'm playing as the Americans in. Um, Civ 6, but I might be wrong. Actually, I think I did play as Teddy a few games ago, but um, it's been a while. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I took a look at the Saxy Gamer, and he had a early build order. He says, stay away from Monument. It's not important right now. You can kind of make this up later. His recommendation was uh, to do Scout. Um, so I'll do a Scout. Um, and he said, save builders for later. Um, so I'll do the scout and uh, <coughs> just annotate that over here in my in my uh, little thing where I'm keeping track here. So Washington, all right. I've got my next few there. All right, so. Uh, Interestingly, in, in a good way, kind of a uh, a validation of what I do, he, he just kind of recommended taking your first unit and um, kind of going around your territory. Oh, cool, luxury. Cool. So I've got two luxury items nearby, which is good for my people's happiness later. So kind of just going around and discovering things, looking for goody huts and so forth. So I'll go up here. And I found my first goody hut. Look at that. Very cool. All right. And for research, um, he was recommending taking a look at animal husbandry or mining, depending on what's around you. Um, there aren't really any hills around. Um, so looks like animal husbandry, which would get me this ivory resource early. Sounds like a good idea. And then I think pottery opens up a bunch of stuff. Uh, rice, which is nearby, so can do that. And automatically researching code of laws, I guess, which makes sense. So next turn. All right, so let's save that game. And uh, send it to Dave. All right, and we'll go to the main menu while I start the next game. <laughs> uh, so Dave's decision to uh, do the two bucks despite Dan, who had done a dollar more than Dave to uh, beat him, is the kind of sibling rivalry I like because it's for a good cause, right? It raises more money for Johns, Cop Johns Hopkins Children's Center. That's a mouthful. Um, and uh, so now we're at 328, which is pretty sweet. We were pretty far away from our um, from our goal before. Now we're uh, slightly less than halfway there. All right, so I'm in my deli game. I don't have any invocation abilities right now. I'm gonna see if I can get, let's see, 
Nice. I mean, this might be a dead end, but I think it probably makes more sense to go this way. Because I've already got a scout here that can go this way. Rather than just trying to cut through. So let's go here. See what's over there. Besides a barbarian scout. Alright, cool. I can move pretty far. Lots of jade on this continent. Oh, good thing I didn't waste my turn coming this way. So it looks like... We're both at the top of the world and the most west we can be for this continent or island, depending on what kind of map we're in. All right, let's improve some production as well as getting access to this bonus resource. Okay. And... Uh, right. So we built a farm there. Um, <laughs> uh, where's my Agra? Agra, Agra. I guess I can't build it there. Um, do some mining, I guess. All right, let's come back. It's my sore. Agra, I was going to have build a settler. So I'll have my warrior go to Agra. Maybe. Oh, here, I was already sending him somewhere. Fair enough. Lots of troops running around. Alright. Then I guess I discovered something or something like that. We'll save that game. Send that file. And go to the main menu. And bring in the last game, the one where I'm Gilgamesh. And Dave Ford settled me. From the first. Alright. So, by the time you see this, I wonder how far I'll be in my Gandhi game. So. Um, Dave is definitely watching these as I upload them, so I'm kind of spacing them out so that by the time I upload the multiplayer games to um, YouTube, it's kind of not of any strategic value anymore uh, to Dave. So, there's that. Okay, let's start up my game here. Alright, I've got a builder with one more charge. This gives me plus two science. I say, why the heck not? Boom. All right, we got craftsmanship bonus. Cool, look at that. I didn't have to waste my time building a science uh, district. That's pretty sweet. And that's about all I can do for now. So that's all I will do for now. I'll save that game. Submit that file. And that will be the end of my multiplayer sieve. So this has been Eric playing multiplayer sieve. I'll see you next time. And thanks once again, Katie and Dan and Dave, for all your donations. You guys are awesome. See you next time. Bye.